is Northern Hero again here. This is part three of the music series that I am doing. In the music business, there has been, for many years now, artists singing blasphemies about our God. A band like Dieside ought to be banned, to be honest. They have a song called Kill the Christian. That's not all. All of their songs have absolute hatred towards Christianity and Christians. And Dieside, which is spelt D-E-I-C-I-D-E, -E, get to be sold in mainstream music stores like HMV. But HMV and other music stores will blank out a lot of Christian music. In the UK, anyway. But not all Christian bands are perfect themselves. To be honest, no one is perfect but Jesus Christ. But, like I've said before in one of my videos on the 097 channel, there is a line. I don't think it's good for a Christian band to copy a non-Christian band with a demon of some sort on the front cover. And to be quite honest, you know, there's quite a lot of Christian bands that's put in demons or something which looks ungodly on the front cover. Um, probably to entice the non-believer into buying it and think, and then when they get on they think, oh, it's a Christian album this, I don't know, but I'm not sure about that, why Christian bands have started to put, um, not all of them, obviously, some have, I can't, I can't, I, by the way my internet's down, so I can't do any proper research now and tell you the names, but um, there's quite a few Christian bands doing that. Demon Hunter, who are a Christian band, have a demon on every cover of their albums. The demon has a hole in its head, hence the band's name, Demon Hunter. And I have got, um, it's a bit like that. Can you see that? Well, every cover of Demon Hunter's albums, you will see a demon similar to that with an old in its head. Hmm. I mean, that, in one sense, could be a good idea. But then again, that could actually be a demon itself. Check out this song by Demon Hunter. Storm the gates of hell. Broken teeth, a shattered jaw. Ten to one, behold my God. Wicked sons of heaven's loss. Raise your own inverted cross. Kings of earth, iron first. Serve the sacred, you dismissed. Stand before your final day. Chalk on every line you pray. Raise your glass to death. No one second left. Wake the lifeless. Die to fight this. Stand beside me. Storm the gates of hell. Wake the lifeless. Die to fight this. Stand beside me. Storm the gates of hell. Storm the gates of hell. Coward's heart, a serpent's tongue. Stand to face what you've outrun. Fear of death, fear of pain. Be sorry, bound to all you took in vain. No more lies, no regrets. Servitize and hollow debt. Open eyes, live to learn. Or watch your blessed temple burn. 
Raise your glass to death, no one second left. Hell hath no fury at all. Hell hath no, no fury at all. And it keeps repeating that, then it goes back to the chorus, which is what I've just read, Stone the Gates of Hell. Um, it's quite brutal, isn't it? I mean, it's about a non-Christian that goes to hell because he or she didn't believe in Jesus Christ. Cliff Richard, who in the UK is perhaps the most popular Christian singer of our generation. He has been in the music business for a total of six decades However, I was once shocked he made a comment while he was on a daytime talk pro a daytime talk program and said that he doesn't believe in angels. Me and my dad couldn't believe it, what Cliff Richard said. The Bible clearly mentions that there are angels. Psalm 91.11 says, He shall give his angels charge over you. Acts 12.20-24 um, says, Now Herod had been very angry with the people of Tyre and Sidon. This is about Herod's violent death. But they came to him with one accord, with one accord. And having made Blastus the king's personal aid, their friend, they asked for peace because their country was supplied with food by the king's country. So on a day, so on a set day, Herod arrayed in royal apparel sat on his throne and gave an oration to them and the people kept shouting the voice of a god and not of a man then immediately an angel of the lord struck him because he did not give glory to god and he was eaten by worms and died but the word of god grew and multiplied now I don't know which kind of Bible Cliff Richard reads, but the Bible clearly says that there are angels. Hopefully Cliff may have changed his mind because that was quite a few years ago when I saw that. But not every Christian is right. Perhaps, including myself, I might have said things which isn't right. And if I have, Lord God, forgive me right now. Now, it's all not that unusual. There was a similar thing at church, um, which I used to go to. And um, someone was saying that Jesus Christ is it coming again. You know, the rapture on that. They've been saying it for years and years. I thought that was extremely strange. I mean, what Bibles do people read? It's got it. In. <laughs> Even unbelief as well, what some Christians have. Once, my dad had a word for my mum through the Holy Spirit. God gave my dad a scripture for my mum. But when my dad told someone at church, a man said, a man said, I've been going to church 33 years and God has never spoken to me like that, turned around and walked off. Now, 
So we are not all perfect. We all have faults, but God can take away those faults. Christian bands have done the devil horned hand sign. Does that make them Satanists? No. They just haven't done any research whatsoever, perhaps. But if they have, and ignored that danger, well, obviously, that's a different matter. Join me again for some time in the future for another part in this subject that I will be discussing the likes of Bono be the next part or the next part after. I'll try to do some research. See you again.